As part of its continued efforts to raise awareness and educate the public about vector-borne diseases, particularly the growing number of dengue fever cases on the island, the Environmental Health Department of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs recently hosted a vector awareness roadshow in the constituency of Miku. The roadshow, a key component of the ministry's ongoing strategy to combat dengue fever, was designed to engage and inform residents about the risk associated with vector-borne diseases, with a special focus on the Aedes aegypti mosquito, the primary carrier of the dengue virus. Jenny Daniel, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, explains that the ministry consistently strives to address health challenges, not in isolation, but through a broad integrative approach that considers all aspects of health and well-being. The Vector Awareness Roadshow served as an essential part of this strategy, educating the public on the risk posed by vectors. So once our epidemiology department unit identified this region, including Miku North and Miku South, as having the highest number of cases of dengue fever and having their own little outbreak, the Department of Environmental Health took the initiative to perform this exercise here today, this activity, which is really a roadshow inclusive of educational activities, dispersal of educational material, as well as granting persons the opportunity to have items such as insect repellents, baits, as well as um, larvicide to help fight against the dengue fever outbreak. The roadshow further emphasized the urgent need for community involvement in reducing mosquito breeding grounds, especially during the island's rainy season, which typically sees a rise in vector-borne diseases. As council, it is significant that we be part of the whole educational awareness aspect of things, letting persons, that's why we saw it fit to collaborate with environmental health today, in terms of spreading the message, getting the word out. Additionally, it is important as council that we play our role in terms of assisting with the measures that are in place for proper garbage disposal, for cleanup of constituency on a regular basis in terms of debushing and uh, clearing of drains and the build-up of garbage in, in, in particular areas. So we recognize our need to be a part of the process, but we also want to impress upon residents the need for them too to take on the responsibility. Nintes Magre, who also assisted with information dissemination during the roadshow, outlined the importance of individual and community responsibility in safeguarding health, particularly in light of the growing risk posed by vectors such as mosquitoes. Je voulais servir l'occasion ça là pour me dire comment nous pour coûter ça qui est là. Avec un nous faire un effort pour faire mettre à dans ces différents manières pour empêcher mes goyans si mais en parmi nous fait souhait peut-être pour passer par là je peux acheter dans les pour mettre sur la peau mais ça on ça fait mettre une chemise qui ne marche mettre une culotte qui ne marche ça va empêcher mes goyans modéo et ben garder en cas la garder si porte fleur besoin couvert pour un bon glow ça c'est c'est grand citoyen il veut même mettre glow un bon you saw me take, you saw me take on cover T as we met on had as we on Soviet to empêche my going and join on côté pour ponzer avec fait plus my going qui est affecté nous. The Environmental Health Department has reaffirmed its commitment to conducting similar outreach activities in other communities as part of its broader public health strategy aimed at vector control and the prevention of dengue fever across Saint Lucia. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Onika McCoy.